this is Salamancer. You are watching Sal TV, and today we have a 9v9 Highlander game on Koth Asheville. I am joined by comedian of Vanilla TF2. Comedian, what's up? How are you guys doing, man? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I don't know about whoever's viewing it right now, but I hope I they're going to be doing better they're, after they're this probably game. Good. They're probably good. Probably good. Uh, I mean, look at it. It's just a beautiful map. Yeah. Played uh, it once at 3 a.m. <laughs> uh, UGC Highlander. It's crazy, but I just love it. Yeah, you are on a UGC Highlander team, aren't you? As this action gets underway, Medic actually getting pressured a little bit from Bent. This is Bent versus Mannered Mercs. Uh, looks like we have a Pyro down beneath right now. And my ferrets are making so much noise, I wish they would stop doing that, but oh well. Um, but yeah, you are on a Highlander team, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm playing uh, with uh, the Jake and Bake uh, uh, team. But uh, anyway, we have a heavy crit thing coming in right there. And he's actually not doing anything so far. Just a Pyro, uh, just an Engineer getting taken down. But I crit is... I'm accomplishing nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, critting a heavy can be a useful thing to do if you can get him in the right position, but getting a... Oh, here's a counter crit now coming in on a soldier doesn't manage to hit anything either. Wow, this is the battle of the crits that just doesn't hit anything, I guess. Anyway, there's... Oh, heavy coming around behind! Up. What? They did not spot this at all. He took down the medic. Nice one, Sarbox. Ooh, well, he didn't focus the enemy heavy, but Spy took down that heavy anyway. Uh, but I do think it's it's a key priority when you're playing as a heavy to focus on the enemy heavy first before going for the medic or anything else. Bit of a missed call in my opinion. Anyway, there's a lot of chaos going on right there. The pyro just like, who's attacking me? From where? And he gets taken down. I'm gonna see where this Looking teleporter's it. leading. Yeah, okay, red team does have a nice nice teleporter set up to lead them very close to the point, but Spy does pick off the uh, heavy Starbucks once again, so... Uh, heavy down for the count here, and we are seeing Mannered Mercs. Uh-oh, they're going to lose their NG here, and possibly their Teleporter as well, as Dr. Strudel gets right on top of that. Nice scout play from him. Yeah, and meanwhile, we had a bit of a crit going on on the middle point. Medic did get taken down very early, but uh, it seemed like the blue medic got taken down as well. So, uh, wow, this yeah. point is so close to getting captured for red team right now, but blue holding onto it for over a minute so far and just barely stopping that cap. Finally, Heavy going to stand on it, though, and that's going to fix it. The point is capped now, but the Heavy needs to run away because he's gotten uh, gold from Team Bent on top of him. Now, we can actually hear uh, the blue team using in-game voice communications. A bit unusual, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I've gone ahead and turned that off on my end so that we can't <laughs> hear that. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Blue Team not using their own mumble or anything like that. Looks like uh, Team Bent just prefers to use TF2's in-game voice. That's kind of nice. Um, you know, whatever works for them. Um, it is. I'm not a big fan of it. But anyway, you know, I, I do have to say, both of these teams are very chaotic. You can see a lot of action going on on so many different places. I don't feel a, a cohesion uh, in the teams uh, so far. But we have, again, a Chris coming in. This time... Yeah, it does kill the heavy. heavy. And it looks like the medic is now getting chased down, though, by a soldier with the equalizer. Jeff R. taking him out. Legion, meanwhile, running back to base. Uh, and it looks like the times are just about even here. So Mannered Mercs have done a really good job of holding on to this point for quite a while and, and distracting Blue Team from their, their primary goal of capping that middle point. Yeah, but I've seen so many times that, for example, the Heavy jumps in on his own or you have a soldier jumping on his own or Demo Man with, you know, medic jumping on on his own. I really would like to see more cohesion from MM or, you know, the enemy team. Both teams are, eh, a bit iffy in that uh, perspective, wow. I guess. Using that milk right there, by the way. Uh, oh, good reflect here from our pyro, who is Owlkin. But uh, I think it was Owlkin anyway. But it looks like um, the the milk there being used to great effect, our red team was uh, getting milk down on that blue demo, and then the soldiers started pressuring him back, ended up getting the kill with, like, full health. And there is a crit going on once again. It did manage to get two kills there. Sirizen and uh, Sarbux both dead. But is that going to be it? No, Shark Hill has managed to finish off Alkin and Legion as well with more crit stickies. Well, that was a beautiful crit. I mean, if you can get the enemy in a sort of locked position where everyone is standing at the same point, that crit's going to do massive damage. That's exactly what happened. Counter crit's coming in, but Pyro coming in from behind, Spy and NG is going to kill off that, uh, that soldier. Yeah, our blue team here is now looking like they're in a good position to hold on to the point for quite a while. But I think they're probably... Yeah, they are still running the crits creek there. You can see the little yellow line on that medigun. Um, and that's going to mean... Oh, no! The medic really has no way to save himself. Yep, gets taken down there by being way, way too far forward. So red team may actually recapture the point when I thought they were going to have a tough time doing it because they lost so many to that crits. Well, you know what? They, their engineer did a really good thing. and had a level 3 teleporter up in that sort of forward positioning. 
And if you have the teleport up, you can resupply your team so quickly. Especially if you are the team that doesn't have the middle point, because your resupplies are going to be very weak. Yeah, I'm just going to watch the Owl can camp here for a minute as he is uh, mainly just spy checking. He's looking for cloaked spies, puffing flames everywhere. This is, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of a boring job for Pyros, but it's really what you want your Pyros to do. Sounds like we do have a crits going on once again, though, and it is on the heavy, not getting a lot of kills so far. Um, now some crit sticky's getting laid down, but once again, not doing a lot. I think, uh, you know, that crit needs to... Be, the thing about the crit is, it needs to be used when you know the enemy's going to be there. Um, and when you see them and you see a, a big clump of them, not when you feel like it. Or just try and save your medic. We've got a, uh, a good forward teleporter location here from Team Bent as well, but they need to capture that point. There's only about 30 seconds left until Red Team wins around. Uh, heavy and Scout, along with that mini sentry, pushing forward though, and they're trying to get some time down on the point, but it's not enough. And we have the Soldier and Demoman jumping forward, actually doing some good uh, damage, but getting cleaned down by Legion very quickly. Uh, again, I think uh, I think the blue team's priority should be getting that point, and actually they're just trying to kill the enemy, not trying to cap the point. You know. Well, with with like six or seven enemies standing in front of that point, you're gonna have to kill them if you want to get on that point. Gotta get on it right now. Heavy is marching forward here with the crits, perfectly timed crits, but the pyro Owlkin pressing them back. It was Come not on. quite enough oh, to keep this them gun off. Comes in from behind, but no, that's gonna need to stay on the point. The mini center is gonna clean up. Soldier jumps in, and that is gonna be one nail. Very nicely done. Mm -hmm. To MM, the Mannered Mercs. Uh, still running that Kritzkrieg, and so is Reds from Bent. Looks like we do have a pause. All right. Alright All right, then. Yeah, so that pause is over, and it's nice to see that the pause is over, because pauses are lame. But uh, sometimes they're necessary, like when your engineer disconnects from the game, which is apparently what happened. So. We do have already the milk coming down here onto the Man of Mercs team. It's like the scout doesn't really care that he's milked though. Gonna go in for some picks on the sniper anyway. Yeah, he's can't milk get it. And Gerardi, man. <laughs> That's a nice combination. Oh, uh, now, he needs I a shower. Have, I, I do. I do. I uh, have to point out. We can see that the the blue soldier is standing sort of on top right there, and uh, yeah, he, he was trying to. But I do think that uh, the blue team right now has the advantage. They. Uh, they constantly keep getting good pressure, and they constantly keep falling back whenever there's a crit. And uh, suddenly, that spy doesn't get a good backstab. But oh, goodbye, spy. Nice try, but it looks like we do have the engineer rejoining the game now, so he should be there. Um, I'm just going to go on the Doc Hair Doctor Cam for a minute here, as he is the red spy for Mannered Mercs. I knew I had seen this guy somewhere. I, I casted him in a Reddit Highlander game, I think. But yeah, he looks like he's going to come around here with the dead ringer. He's got to be careful about that pyro. Uh, but he's actually disguised as a friendly, so uh, yeah, he's gonna die, and they're just gonna think he's dead. It'll be an interesting little, interesting little play. It's, uh, it's nice, nice. I like it. I like it when fighters do that, but you can't really, you know. Uh, oh, but the engineer walks right yeah. by him. He's going for the shots with his revolver. Can he actually kill this NG? It's like, oh, it's gonna be close. Six health left on Doctor here, uh, Doctor, and he gets he pissed. Have, he should have dead ringed. He should have dead ringed oh. if he could have. He, no, I probably didn't recharge fast enough. That's the thing about that dead yeah. ringer is it, it takes quite a while to recharge. Good spy pick, actually, by uh, Lexplosive Boris to kill Tsarbux. And Reds is down right now as well. So uh, oh, I think Reds is running the Vita Saw because she does have Yet yeah there. 19%. Well, it doesn't matter. Backstab right there. <laughs> Both teams are actually running the Vita Saw. And I think that's a good call. I mean, getting that 20% faster Uber Charge every single time, that crits just... You know, you get that in almost immediately after that. Yeah, anyway, that, that's, I mean, UGC is just a... crazy for that, but yeah, the oh, heavy's, yeah. heavy's kind of trying to fight over this point. Red team, once again, is uh, trailing behind on capture time right now. Blue team does have about a minute's worth of cap time, and so far, though, they're still managing to defend it pretty well. Yeah, nice timing from Demo and that engineer coming in from behind, just taking down the heavy. What are you doing, engine? You're not a combat class. Uh, I think he is 150 health with that gunslinger. Yeah, true, true, true. But yeah, again, we see a lot of mini sentry blade. No wranglers used. What do you think about that? Um, the wrangled mini sentry is not that great. I mean, you you can increase its survivability a little bit, but really, uh, the mini sentry is just there to like distract from the rest of your team. Uh, looks like Alkin does take out the blue spy there, so he's not going to get any backstabs this time around. And oh, Reds gets backstabbed once again by Donka Hair Doctor. Here comes the Crits Krieg now, and it does manage to get one kill there on the sniper, so at least they don't have to worry about getting sniped for a while. 
I, I don't know. I think that could have been better coordinated because if you if you get a backstab on, on the medic and on the heavy, you don't need that crits. Come on, man. You can just go in. Just kill everything anyway. Um, but still, really nice play by the red team. Finally getting some capture time on that point. Yeah, they, they I think, coordinated decently well. Especially they took good advantage of that uh, spy pit. Yeah, I just yeah. stepped on something sharp, so now my foot hurts. But... um. Uh, oh. Red team is now backed up into that little corner, and that could be a really bad position for them. Yeah, already Demo Man could, you know, spam some stickies over there. They could get a soldier jumping in on top. There could be all kinds of nasty oh, stuff. They have, so. they have to watch out for the crits. Uh, Demo Man just going massively while them, just getting a thousand kills. Uh. Yeah, that, that would be really terrible for them right now. Some good uh, rockets coming <laughs> in. And, oh no! Legion. Oh, that, that guy. Uh. This guy right here. Give him a medal. Give this guy a medal. I think you're getting your UGC medals this year. No? Maybe next uh, season? Possibly. Let me see if he has one right now. No, he's not wearing a medal. Legion, you need one. Oh, because man. that crits Legion. right there. What was that, like six kills? And now he's yeah, coming in on top kills. of the demo, or the sniper, I mean, as well. Man, Legion is the demo to watch this game. Now, of course, he also managed to take down the medic. Uh, but, oh, guy, Alex, he was just standing in the corner where Sharky was just spamming stickies on him. Poor guy. Wow, Baff is soldier, jumping in on yeah. the demo. Dr. Badfish ends up taking out Phallus Predominant. Are these guys like, I think I heard some of them might have been Canadian or something, French-Canadian, because they do have some French names. Are those, are those French names? I, uh, I think so. Maybe. Um, anyway, Donka here, Doctor right now, is, I don't even know what he's doing. Uh, he's apparently just having his heavy spy check him without telling him that he's on his team, so that's cool. And yes, cool. Bent cool. is a Canadian team, according to my stream chat. Monkey66, you rock. Alright then. Love those Canucks, man. <laughs> okay, we do have um, a little bit of spam coming down on the point right now. Red team, once again, not in control of this point. They need to get out there and cap it pretty quickly. They do have a big crits advantage right now. I'm assuming it's a crits. Because, yeah. yeah, there you go. Oh, actually, it was a, it was a um, reflect kill there by Pollis and the one Nice. Anyway, we, again... I think what the red team needs to do is whenever they're trying to put aggression on, they usually don't have someone standing on the point. Anyway, they are deploying the Chris right now. Pirate oh, of jump yeah, walks into Pirate the demo. Was gone. And he was he was just not in a good position. He was trying to face down a heavy who, for some reason, couldn't manage to track him very well. So he didn't take a lot of damage from the heavy. But uh, you eat a crit sticky at your feet, and there's really not a lot that can survive that. Well, heavy, but that's about it. Yeah. That's, you know, maybe an overhealed soldier. But 360 health? No, probably not. So, um, let's see. Yeah, okay, we, we have our blue team right now pushing towards the point once again. They do need to recapture it and then take that 20 seconds. Looks like we got some good uh, crit rockets coming in right now. And they did manage to kill Hellziv, the sniper. So it's going to be good for our blue team for a little while. They can afford to stand out here without taking too many hits. But a double stab there by Donka Hair Doctor. And now Caps Ooh, lock in on top major. of Wow. Yeah, there was just yeah that was that was a nice action. I, that was really nice coordination by the red team if it was on purpose. <laughs> and if it wasn't, man, that was still awesome anyway. Yeah, I like Seven to see Seven seconds it. to go. It, it seems like what they were trying to do there was... Uh, distract the enemy team with the spy and the scout while the crits got in position and man did that ever work because now it looks like our team uh, red team does hold on to the point for a little while longer yeah I mean they can't lose the point here. seven seconds is almost impossible to recap it's possible but almost impossible <laughs> yeah I am actually getting convoed by uh, by my boss right now, so we may have to stop this recording in a minute, Aww. but so far uh, I do want to see the end of this round because it's very, very close right now, and blue team trying yeah. to capture the point it looks like maybe they can get away with it some flames going down everywhere, but no I think blue team has lost a lot too many players here, Legion still in command of that point, Medic even getting some needle spam going on there, oh the spy picking off so many people but he gets taken down, and now no, it's an that overtime that can't do it, that demo man can't do it anymore, Scott's just gonna go on him, and that is gonna be uh uh, victory for MM. So that's gonna be uh, nice. Two to zero so far. Two to zero. Okay. Uh, so that was a pause on my end and not on TF2's end because my boss called me and I had to, you know, get back with him. But so far we do, of course, have Mannered Mercs ahead, two to zero, and uh, it's gonna be surprising to see what Ben can do to really, uh, really fix this. A lot of it is just so chaotic on Highlander that sometimes yeah. it's it's just not up to your strategy. So like Shark Kill did get taken out there by Hellziv. 
Now, I do have to say, uh, something uh, that Bent is doing differently this time is that they're sending pretty much all their team over the right flank, left flank, depending on where you look from. Um, which is unusual. Usually teams go from, from the other side. Yeah, the medic here is getting pressured a little bit by uh, Dr. Badfish, but he is taken down. And apparently he's a Pokemon master. I did not know that. Uh, Helziv here is having to deal with an engineer who is right on top of... Uh, and a spot. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, that sniper gets a beautiful shot off there, actually. Uh, he's going for it. We... Yeah, it seems like uh, Bent have captured uh, the middle point. Spot got taken down by a sticky trap right there. I like the uh, positioning. I like the the form that uh, Bens are having right now. Getting some good kills off. Yeah, we do have Legion looking to peek a little bit forward, but he backs off actually really quickly. May have gotten a body shot there by our sniper over here. Who is this? This is Ferax. Um, and meanwhile, we have Mini Sentry versus Mini Sentry out here. It looks like uh, Red has won that battle for now, but uh, not for terrible Yeah, long. his Mini Sentry was stronger. Seems like he added level 21 level Mini Sentry. Almost evolved. <laughs> Uh, oh, Pyro coming in and trying to stop the capture right now from our red team. This is a, a familiar story here where it looks like Mannered Mercs lose the original fight and they lose about a minute. Sounds like the crits is popped right now, and there goes the medic Ooh. for a red team. That was a beautiful game. It was just like, medic, no, no, and he died. <laughs> you know, that's, just, that's just the way it is with crits, man. You gotta, you gotta learn how to dodge him. Wow, Doc and her doctor easy. tried to go in behind the sniper there. It didn't really work. Ferax, though, missing some headshots, trying to go for that demo and just can't quite get him. Um, no. Now coming out with a bushwhacker just to stop the capture for a little bit longer. It's just like one or two extra seconds, but it, every little bit helps here for Team Bent, who do not have really a point on the board yet. I, th I think Mem ha made a bit of a mistake. They could have gotten that point a lot earlier just by having someone on the point constantly. They had people on and off and like trying to pressure forward and doing damage and then just backing off again. They just, ah. I want to find that anyway. engineer cam. Let me see. Where is uh, where is the blue engi here right now? Come. Oh no! Sounds like he actually. Uh, no, no. He's he's up. Okay. Freighter. Freighter. Dot bent is this guy and he's been doing quite a good job here with just that regular shotgun using the gunslinger, that little robot arm, and he's actually got Pip Boy there too, which looks pretty nice. It seems actually, uh, I just noticed that a guy, Alex, has switched oh! back to the, uh, to the Uber instead of the crits. There's uh, so an interesting. It's not an Uber for the crits uh, situation. Um, we did see, though, that Reds got backstabbed, as did, I think, uh, the, the soldier along with him. So uh, it's not looking good here for Team Bent right now. They, they only have about a minute left to capture, and look at this. Lots of stickies coming in. Oh, should have deaded those just a little bit earlier. Could have gotten that medic kill. Guy Alex, though, still at about 100 health. Yeah, probably did some nice action, trying to earn effective to save team damage. It's always good when you do that. Part of a high five, man. Uh. Freighter just running around trying to pistol people to death, and he's going up against the revolver there of the spy. You're gonna have to be really careful about that, but he does grab some extra health. I'm just, I'm confused as to what he's doing right now. Um, but yeah, he's gonna come back out here and help capture. Why isn't he using the shotgun? I don't know. He's gonna set this uh, mini sentry up. Right in the uh, the bush there, though, which is, is so hard to see it, but once you do know where it is, uh, you're going to take it out quite easily. Good reflect there by the pyro just to keep a little bit of damage off, and that mini sentry is still firing. Finally gets taken down. Here comes a crit sticky, though, um, dealing a lot of good damage there. Sirazan, yeah. uh, Caps Lock, and Dr. Badfish all down. Saving his own life. Not getting a kill. Ooh, so close. And the capture, uh, it looks like it's yeah. going to be down here. There you go. Blue team has about a minute left here. A minute 20 left on the clock for Maynard Mercs. Uh, this time around, I think Blue may end up winning the round. No, I, I think I think it's close enough. I mean, they can still get a full Uber up uh, on, on Alec, on, on, the, on the red team, on MM. So, you know, it still, it still needs to be decided. It definitely does. Looks like... Uh, Dr. Strudel, who is uh, the scout there, did take a headshot from Helsiv, I believe. That would be our red sniper. And they, uh, yeah, they're just having some fun right now over this point. Red team trying to recapture no. it, but 30 seconds they left. Have, they have to be so careful. They have to be extremely careful. They can't lose players like that. That's exactly what they should have. Look at 92% of Uber. So close, but they, they just had to be a little more patient. They lost their demo end. They lost their heavy. It's going to be extremely hard for them to cap this. Uh, they still have the Uber, but it's going to be close. It's going to be very, very close. Oh, it didn't just even pop that Uber fast enough oh, on his pyro. Okay, the heavy is there on time right now. 
But if that pyro can reflect kill and if they don't actually un Uber, uh, they're gonna get taken out. Spike coming in from behind, Engineer from the side. Oh, and, uh, Legion, no, Shark Kill, I'm sorry, not Legion, Shark Kill with a 3k there, using his stickies to secure yeah. that point. And that was that was really nice moves by uh, by Ben right there. Uh, MM really close, but uh, that miss Uber was just uh, you know a, a big shame. They if they would have had you know the original Uber, if it would have saved that demo and saved the heavy, it would have been beautiful. They they would have had that. Yeah, it does look like uh, Doctor Strudel here getting out and wants to hit somebody with the milk first. Has hit the spy. Spy not happy about that at all. Meanwhile, there is a soldier versus soldier fight up there, but it looks like. Jeff R did get finished off by Legion, actually. Shark Kill now down as well after having killed Caps Lock with a pill from the grave, I think. But uh, yeah, Manor Mercs have a big player advantage right now, and they're not pushing with it. Uh, no, they're taking it easy. They're just building on crits, waiting, uh, waiting to find the opponents. Taking on the medic right there. The heavy is actually getting some one kill, but uh, they they have a mana dash. But just get a scout on that point, man. Come on. There is a oh, spy. Yeah, spy coming in after this, the medic right now. Doesn't manage to get that kill. Meanwhile, sniper looks like he's uh, trying to get some shots off as well, but it's not going to happen yet. And now some uh, rockets coming in on Agent Roddy Heavy. They looks like they've missed so far, but Starbucks needs to back away because there are stickies coming in once again from Shark Hill. Yeah, just uh, I do want to mention that Ben still have a crit, so it's still it's a crit for Uber, uh, crit for crit uh, situation, I believe. Yeah, yep, Reds right now at seventy percent. Guy Alex at hundred. Here they could crits pretty soon, but oh, crit there's rocket. a oh, crit rocket reflect. Nice, and again a crit rocket reflect. I love, I love seeing those. I just want to get some kills out of it, man. Come on. <laughs> I agree. Looks like there was a spy around here, and Red team is so punched up right now. Reds has that hundred percent crits. If they popped it just a little bit earlier, or even if they pop it now and get the kills right here, that would be so incredibly incredibly awesome for blue team but uh, they're not doing that just yet no actually they're going behind right now just look at look at that medic soldier going in behind they're gonna try and catch them off guard they're all bunched up crit is gonna get popped right now crit oh. in. Crit in. In fact, a medic. oh yeah oh can go huge right there wow and I only I only had a, a bare glimpse of that, but yes, crit rocket reflected onto the medic there, so that that uh, medic soldier combo with no support not working for them at all. And now mannered mercs are able to easily oh. recapture the point. Man, uh, oh, such a perfect fight! That out of man, yeah. <laughs> It was amazing. So Alakin showing us what the Pyro is capable of in the right hands. Um, Dr. Badfish, Pokemon Master here, is uh, getting a little bit of heals, but looks like he does have to drop back. Mem MM are in control of the point for now, and I want to say M and M because I'm hungry. But, um, no, but I'm team... Hungry, not that <laughs> Come on. Come on, it's MM. Come on. It's MM. Team Mannered Mercs just, right just now are... Just Marine Water. Oh, this All is... Right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, what about the medivacs, though? You kind of need those. It does look like uh, there are uh, some pill spam coming in, and actually, I think managed to get at least one kill there on the red team. Backed up actually, right here three in this kills. corner. Yeah. Being backed up in that corner is not especially good. It does give you a little bit of cover here, uh, but you can get spammed so easily. I, I, I think, you know, there's a difference between keeping your team together and keeping everyone on the same, like, pixel. Uh, making sure everyone gets killed. Anyway, we have a bit of a crit going on. Two oh. kills from both teams. Uh, Bob that heavy just coming in, getting backstab right there, uh, and I think this is going in advantage of MM. And they got they got the vital classes down. The heavy is still alive. And he needs to get taken down. And now There's down nothing left to kill him to here. This is pretty crazy. A scout comes in behind and doesn't manage to stop that capture. So uh, team bent in control of the point now once again. They are just barely, uh, pretty much tied up right now for time right now. And of course, it's going to take a while I think for our red team to get back on that point if they can at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were really close. They're still, uh, both medics went down at about the same time, so they're gonna have about equal uber, equal crits. Uh, let's just check. It seems, uh, yeah, still both on crits. But MM are building it faster. Um, a little bit. I, it's not gonna matter too much. They do have the crits right now, and they are pushing out to start recapturing the point. Um, who is going to take this crit, though? It looks like it could be demo, could be heavy. But you know, that's the crits already that at the demo same from, time. Uh, ben oh! Ben oh! Ben <laughs> there you go. Ooh, yeah, demo from Blue go. Team. This is why, yeah, this is exactly what we were talking about earlier, where if you get stacked up in yep. this little corner uh, with your entire team, it is so easy to get taken out.
it, it's so easy. It's so easy. But yeah, you have to be careful. I mean, like I said, you know, there's a difference between keeping keeping your team together, keeping your firepower focused, and making sure you don't die horribly uh, through crits. Yeah, we're watching uh, Ferax just doing some work here, taking down that mini sentry, but he needs to drop back now and get some health. Did take a pretty highly charged body shot from the opposing sniper. Um, the Spy hanging out over here for our blue team, just waiting for Red to kind of peek around this corner. He does want to get that kill on the heavy. Can he get the stab, though? Yes, he can. And then mm. got away with it. Well, no, he didn't. He got taken out there after the... Um, Legion watched him walk into that door. Very, very wise prediction there by Legion. Now, uh, 30 seconds left on the clock for Team Bent. Mannered Mercs have to hold on to this point for a long time. Yeah, a very, very long time. But it's possible. I mean, uh, Bent did a really good job. The thing about it is they need to make sure... So you, you just cut off there for a second. They need to make sure what? They need to make sure they're getting in a sort of defense in concave instead of all stacking on the same point, dying horribly through crits. Um, yeah, the... Uh, Hopefully they do manage to do that, but it looks like both teams are kind of doing the same thing right now. There is a crit ready to go for Reds once again. She has a Demoman Shark Kill right here. They do crits, but look, it's a regular Uber. Nice. Nicely done for our Red team. Nice. That is but just going to shut this But I don't think they have enough firepower to actually get a lot of kills off right there. I mean, not even the heavies down, and that's a huge target. It actually gets out of there. The medic is actually being trilled by the enemy Demoman, and look at that. That was just an Uber without any kills. You need to have firepower. You need to have at least two, three players with that. Yeah, it's absolutely some crazy stuff right now. And then, I mean, they, I think they made the right call with the Uber. It's just that because of that crit and because there wasn't enough flashing from the Uber, um, the, the rest of the Mandelbrook's team did not feel like they were really able to get there on the point. Whoops. Oh, darn it. Uh, looks like, yeah, our entire blue team there was pretty much killed. Um, Shark Kill took down a couple before he died, but Mandelbrook's yeah. in control of the point once again. It's in overtime right now. If blue team recaptures this point, they win the round. Yeah, that's right. I mean, one minute remaining. A lot of players are back up, and they won't have, uh, they will have the crystal time, they will have the crystal time. Oh, Spy going after the medic right now, but he's going to get taken down. Actually, I think he was, may have gotten uber sawed there. No, aren't these medics running the Vita saw? I don't remember. They're, but they're running the Vita saw, they're running the Vita saw, definitely. I mean, why shouldn't they? It seems like uh, the moon medic is actually running uber uh, right now instead of uh, ye old crits. Yep, that's correct. Guy Alex still running that Uber. So he nope, is going to be no. able to get out there and... Uh, Blue Medic has crits. Oh right. yeah, Blue Medic does have crits. Guy Alex, though, probably going to Uber out there very shortly. Yep, there they go. The Uber is popped in the demo once again. Uh, probably needs to flash that to the shoulder. Yes, does just that to make sure they both stay alive out there on the point, defending it. 15 seconds left on the clock. This is about as close no. as you can get. The, the Heavy the heavy and Medic are coming from behind with the crits. Actually, the enemy heavy ambushes him, kills him, takes down the Medic as well. Scout is going to go down there as well. Nice uh, anticipation by that heavy, ambushing them, and that means that they're actually going to be able to cap this, maybe? I think uh, MM has this, and uh, that will be absolutely huge if they can do that. Probably that trying to get some kills off, but yeah, that is going to be 3-1, that means we're going to be switching... Teams? Well, they're calling GG now. Uh, there is only two minutes left in the game, so I think 3-1 to one is going to be our final score here between Mannered Mercs right. and Team Bent. No. See, Wait, no, they're no, saying see, never see, mind that's now. A, that's a good run, because in UGC Highland, you play with a 30 minutes time limit, or first three, and then you switch teams. Oh. And then okay. it goes, you know... Seems like maybe the config not quite right then? I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens, though, no, as they, this they, round they, basically doesn't matter. So it is three to one right now. We'll see if they have any more rounds coming they, up. They should, they, they should need to switch teams. Yeah. According to the rules, you know? And so we're back with uh, the second half here, which could be a very short one because it is played first to four, right? Yes, it is played first to four, but, you know, don't take it away from uh, from Bent. Uh, no, I will not. In fact, it's even though it's three to one right now, Bent could come back with another three points and Bent, win Bent's this. not the red team, by the way, just to oh, yeah, make yeah. that sure, because they switched uh, the switch teams, because uh, lol American rules. <laughs> yeah, on a symmetrical map, I don't think switching teams matters too terribly much. It's just kind of following the ESEA tradition of it automatically switches everyone's teams. So, uh, yeah. Spy coming in behind, but he's going to get caught out by, I believe that is, that's not Alkin, that's um, Phallus. 
so I'm, I'm pretty sure we all know what that means. Donka does find the teleporter, doesn't decide to go for it. He's still after uh, the pyro, but uh, wow! Staying alive for a lot longer than I really gave him credit for. Finally killed by that extinguisher. And now, meanwhile, what's happening on the point? There is an Uber from well, the Well, that was actually Mercs. a crit for Schubert. Crit didn't actually manage to get a lot of kills. Did get one kill, but the Uber just came in, just absolutely killing everyone. Uh, MM doing a lot of, uh, lot of action. Something we do have to notice, the Soldier 4 uh, MM has switched to the direct hit. Interesting. Um, why would you do that in a Highlander game? Well, you know, in Highlander, that's actually a pretty good call. If you're playing against uh, a sentry, like a level 3 sentry, using direct hit against that is just is perfect, man. Does a ton of damage, kills it almost instantly, uh, you know, you're capable against Wranglers and everything, but on a map like this, don't really know. Wow, it seems like Ferax is getting a lot of kills right now on the Mannered Mercs, and so nobody has captured this point yet, but I'm pretty sure that Bent is going to get the first cap. They do have a crits going off right now, and it's gonna get at least one, two, three hey, kills! <laughs> Definitely. Oh, I was watching that medic, I was just like, come on, come on, edge him, edge him! Finally got him in there. Uh, so, yeah, that is going to... That is going to work really well indeed. Uh, Team Bent is pretty much standing out here on the point right now with the first capture of the half. So, I don't know. I think uh, I think we're going to see that uh, MM is going to have a tough time this round. They are going to have to capture it back. Now, Bent did... I think uh, in the first half, get most of the initial captures, and then Mannered Mercs did tend to come back and win it. So we'll see if they can't uh, pull the same magical phenomenon this time around. Yeah, and uh, let's just keep on looking if we can get some spectacular action. I mean, uh, Ben is on the crits, and MM is on the on the. Oh, Uber. Jeff R just bombed in and killed Guy Alex. Nobody saw that coming. Very good jump by him. So, uh, Man and Mercs have lost their medic once again. Not able to deploy an Uber there. Oh, we do have to watch out. Actually, uh, medic actually uh, got killed right there. The Pokemon Master, Dr. Batfish, jumped in there. Take uh, take down the medic with crits. What does it take to be a Pokemon Master, comedian? What well, you have to capture all 151 Pokemons. Um, 151, huh? Yeah, yeah, just just the original 151. Gotcha. Uh, we're not okay. talking about the 8,952 uh, <laughs> other Pokemon. Just the the original uh, 181, uh, okay. 151, and you have to you have to uh, all have them on, on level 100. Oh, really? Yeah. That that so, means that means you need to have a Rarita at, at okay. level 100. I I see. Well, at least then he would be in the top percentage of Raditas, right? Yeah, yeah, he is the one percent. <laughs> All right, sounds like uh, our Mannered Mercs team here is losing a lot of time on the point right now. It's about one minute left here, so two minutes have already been shaved off by Team Bent. They're doing a really good job this round. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, keeping the medic alive for a long time, getting good positioning. I like the you know the way Team Bent is playing right now, uh, but they are losing uh, quite a lot of players right now. Heavy is actually starting to sort of in, in that dispenser. Yeah. Quite nice. Uh, Mana Mercs did lose their heavy to a spy there, so Starbucks down for the count. And this now is the first capture of the half. Here comes a Kritzkrieg already by the heavy, firing kind of through that box, which looks a little bit weird, but there is a charge for Guy yeah. Alex. Is it a Chris? No, it's a regular Uber. He's going to pop I, I, this right back out here. Yeah, and uh, he's going to be able to kill a lot of players, but it is just a regular Uber. Takes down a medic, though, and that's a good call. Heavy for heavy action going on right there, and uh, that is going to be a, a big wipe for Team Ben. Now, Something I, I do have to mention about the crits, I don't like the way these teams have been using it quite a lot. But when you're using it on the heavy, you need direct sidelines. And if you deploy it behind the boxes, where you only have pretty much sight on sort of the enemy, one half of the enemy side, that's not a way you want to deploy crits. You want to go either from below, where you have massive sidelines, or, you know, get to the middle pole of the point and then deploy the crits. Not 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 effective at all if you use it so far away. It's all little sidelines. Yeah, I mean it's it's a riskier play if you're using it as far away. Sometimes we have seen it be effective, of course. Uh, Legion and Sharkill both have gotten some crazy crazy. Using stickies, it as a demo is is different than if you're using it as a heavy because yeah. as a demo you can lob stickies above things or over things and everything. But as a heavy, you need to have the direct sidelines. So you know you need to deploy it at least on on somewhere halfway. Well, we'll see right now. It looks like only 30 seconds left here until Bent win this round. I, I think they're going to bring it to 3-2. to two. Although, oh, as I say that, I may right eat my words, yeah. 
Yeah, that was uh, that was a nice uh, sticky kill right there. And again, uh, you know, the positioning behind the boxes is not that... He can fire through the boxes, what the hell? Yeah, that's that <laughs> was what like, I was talking about earlier, what? it was a little bit weird. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you, Source Engine, for that one. But, uh, oh, no, Ferax is looking for a kill there. Ended up getting taken out by Hellsave. So, Man and Mercs hold this point. They're going to have to hold it for a long time, though. And if Red Team recapture it one more time, I think that Bent can win this round. It's it's going to yeah. be tough, though. Yeah. No, I mean, they have to deal with uh, full regular Uber. That's going to be hard to deal with. But if they pop it right with the crit, or if they can catch the uh, Medic of Guard within a crit sticky, that's going to be... Well, so wait, Reds has regular Uber now? No, Reds still running the crits here. So, um, not sure. It sounds like Comedian isn't there for the moment, although he'll probably be back shortly. There you go. Push the dog button being a bit twitchy. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I was saying uh, Reds does have the crits, but MM has the regular Uber. And actually, the medic are taking Ryan right there uh, by like a random roller. <laughs> oh, that's, that's no gonna good. Be huge. No good because yeah now Reds can push her team out to victory here. Team Bent should be able to capture this point quite nicely, uh, and here they go right now. These uh, sticky bombs going off. They're not quite killing Ferax actually. He's still alive, um, and it does look like the crits is now popped on the heavy. He's trying to get out here and deal some damage, but no, already uh, he is out of position. So whoops. Uh, he is in good enough position. If the soldier keeps on the top right, which he doesn't, he drops back onto the point. Uh, you can keep him spam on the right hand flank. <laughs> and a nice sort of air reflect by the pyro. Uh, but yeah, that is that's pretty much wiped. Oh, so close, but not yeah, right. Well not done right. to Team MM right now, who well, well, has actually, held no, this. Engineer, come on. Demo man, spamming it out. Uh, ten seconds, come on, come on. This, yeah, this could will be the they end of the it. game, I, I think. I, I mean, it's... Yeah. Red team, they can get out here. They may capture it. It's it's going to be tough though. And right now, it's going to be an overtime, which means every time they don't stand on this point, uh, it's it's going to fall down very very quickly. Heavy versus heavy right now. Both of them being overhealed. And there oh, is the Uber. Uber. I think. Yeah, I think that's yeah, going to be it. That is going to be it. That is going to be it. MM is just. Uh, yeah, it's going to be too able to strong, win this. too mannered. Wow, oh, Spy actually, coming no, in though. Come on, come on, come on, no, someone on this Come on! <laughs> <laughs> well, that is going to be good game in favor uh, of Mannered Mercs against Team Bent. So nicely done to those guys. Uh, this has been Salamancer, of course, joined by Comedian from Vanilla TF2. Comedian, any shoutouts before we hide out? Um, no, not really. I just want to check out our website, vanillatf2.org. And uh, we're going to have some streaming action later tonight, but I don't know when this is going to be up, so... Uh, probably tomorrow, uh, but of course you guys are going to have streaming tomorrow, this, too, I'm sure. It's going to be yesterday. Yeah, um, we're going to have streaming tomorrow as well, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, just check out our website, vanillatf2.org. Mm -hmm. And of course, check out X Television, and also check out youtube.com slash fatmop, where all these videos are uploaded in high definition. I'll see you guys later. Yeah.